Hey everybody, welcome to the Friday edition of Warrior Daily. Wrapping up this week with me is Sean Peters, the head coach for the men's and women's swimming and diving programs. And uh, coach, we haven't talked to you here on Warrior Daily since late November. I know you've been uh, extremely busy. This is a, a crucial time in terms of the training as we're now a month away or so from the GLIAC Championships. Uh, but you had a, a couple of big competitions in that span from last time we talked, the Eastern Michigan Invitational in early December. And just this past weekend against Grand Valley State, uh, give me a little progress report on your team to this point. Well, I, I was really impressed in how we did at the Eastern Michigan Invite and then Andre at U.S. Nationals. Uh, and it, was, um, it was a busy weekend, uh, like a lot of swimming in a very short period of time, and, uh, and the swimmers responded well. Uh, the girls' 400 free relay made their um, A cut. Carol made her A cut in the uh, 200 backstroke, and Andre made his A cut in the sprint events and then uh, coming uh, off of that into winter training uh, a lot of hard work um, numerous double practices and I mean like it seemed like uh, the divers in particular uh, were at the pool just about almost the entire day I mean there I mean, it was some great training going on there and uh, um, to come off that and swim as well as we did against Grand Valley I think uh, speaks well for where the program's at. Yeah, you certainly stepped up in the training. As we mentioned, this is an important time of year for your team. Uh, and you talked about Andre Suri, Carol Azambujid, uh, two swimmers who performed really well uh, against Grand Valley last weekend and uh, were rewarded with the uh, GLIAC Swimmer of the Week honors. And I think it's fair to say that those two are among the, the cream of the crop, not only in this conference, but in Division Two. Yeah, Andre, um, he's right now at this time our top three or four in the 50 and 100 freestyle. And... Uh, Carol, I believe, is in the top four as well in both backstrokes and within the top eight in freestyle events. And certainly um, having two swimmers like those, uh, you know, like where Andre can pop off, you know, an, an NCAA kind, a cut in a dual meet, that's pretty, that's pretty special, you know. So um, I'm certainly going to enjoy, you know, Andre's uh, run to nationals here. And, uh, well, same with the entire team. But as this is Andre's uh, senior season, it, it'll be Pretty special. Yeah, without a doubt, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And uh, certainly some of those veteran swimmers that you count on, uh, Joaquin Abascal Gallegos and a, and a slew of others, uh, will contribute to that effort. You've got some new people, though, who I think uh, really give a little bit of insight to the future of this program. Some of your freshmen and your newcomers uh, who have come in and have made an impact. Kyle Taylor on the men's side uh, was impressive last week against Grand Valley. And uh, Casey Prentice, she seems to be one of the more versatile swimmers that you have in your program. Yes, uh, Kyle uh, really was, um, he was definitely motivated to do very well against Grand Valley here and, uh, and at the Eastern Michigan Invitational as well. Had, so to string together two very good meets like that was very nice to see. Uh, I mean, he's a terrific middle distance swimmer and a uh, very hard worker. And uh, same with Casey Prentice, obviously she... Um, uh, being on the A400 free relay was a very special thing, um, but obvious, obviously with her ability to swim pretty much every stroke and a lot of different distances, uh, I mean, she does have a terrific future ahead of her. Without a doubt. Uh, you've got a, a busy time coming up in terms of competition, Coach. You'll take this weekend uh, off to just train and get yourselves ready, obviously, for what's ahead. Uh, but you've got four competitions in a two-week span just before the uh, GLIAC Championship. So uh, certainly trying to keep everybody uh, primed and ready for that meet. Yes, uh, and certainly that's something that we tried a few years ago. Uh, and it seemed to work out really well for us to um, continue to race uh, within you know, about a week, a week and a half before we have to compete at GLIACs. And, uh, and certainly... Uh, there's some good programs that we have left. Uh, Eastern Michigan, uh, they're one of the, uh, the top uh, Division One programs in the state of Michigan. You have uh, um, Lewis, who has some of the best distance swimmers in, uh, in our conference here. And then, uh, and then Findlay, um, the past few years, they've uh, done extremely well on the women's side and uh, seem to always have some people that uh, just really step up at the conference meet. So a lot of good competition and certainly looking forward to uh, uh, finish, finishing off the season strong. All right. Well, we'll look forward to more fast times and uh, anticipating the GLIAC championships next month. And we'll talk a little bit before then. But in the meantime, uh, good luck with the rest of January. Thanks, Tom. All right. Go That's Warriors. Sean Peters. Absolutely. Go <laughs> Warriors. Wrapping up this week of Warrior Daily. We'll see you next week.